So um, today I'm going to talk about another uh, garment for my Makes Challenge video. And this one is one of my favorites and near and dear to my heart because I used it emotionally to get over something. <laughs> so first of all, it is the Selena dress from the Breaking the Pattern named, uh, the named clothing Breaking the Pattern book. Um, this pattern is amazing. You can plink it in so many different ways. It has a dress version, it has a shirt version, it has a jumpsuit version, so many different possibilities, which is why I love that book anyway. That's why it's called Breaking the Pattern because you can make something in so many different ways and a lot of their pattern pieces fit together and you know, you can kind of do anything you want with it and they tell you all about that. So I really love the book. Um, but this pattern is near to my heart because I made it immediately after the Amsterdam blazer that I've already talked about in another video. Um, and so I really, uh, should have probably made like an easy knit shirt or something after that difficult make that I wasn't super satisfied with, but I had this dress already cut out and I was like, I'm just going to make this dress. It looks easy. It'll be fine. You know, that's, that's like the... Those words, it'll be fine. I say that a lot to myself and sometimes it's not fine and I'm like, why did I say that? <laughs> but anyway, it was fine. It was a great make and it made me so happy because it came out so beautiful and I was just like, okay, I do know what I'm doing, sort of. Um, so I really liked it and I'm just gonna get right into it. Blackbird Fabrics. I know that they don't have this colorway right now, um, but it's called Printed Tinsel 12, but they have two other colorways on their website. Um, it's very gorgeous, drapey, just so lovely for this pattern. Um, it's the perfect weight. I feel like I like how heavy it is, um, and so I really liked that. And um, the other possibilities for fabric would be like a viscose or even like a linen or a crepe or like a suiting, a crepe suiting or something like that would be awesome. I feel like this is pretty versatile um, and could be made in a number of different fabrics. Um, if the fabric's really structured, it'll just have a different look, but I don't think it would look bad. It just won't be as flowy and drapey. Um, so moving on, uh, the pattern layout. So I need to also talk about, you know, how you trace the pattern. So basically, um, there is a way on their website through the book to, um, get access to their patterns online, but I haven't quite done that yet. Um, but I do just pull out the pattern and trace it. Now there's a lot of other patterns on the, um, the sheet that they provide because they're kind of squishing them all together and they overlap each other. You just have to find the right color. It's all very well labeled. Make sure you get all your notches. Um, and then this, these pattern pieces are so long because they're basically like the, from the top to the bottom of the skirt is like one piece. Um, I mean, there's multiple that you sew together around the dress, but like, it's, it's like you're so you're basically, you have the length of the whole piece. Um, so to trace that piece was just a little bit more difficult because you have to like trace on your tracing paper and then stop because it's not the whole pattern piece can't fit on one of their pages. And so you have to stop the tracing and like put like a little mark and then you have to continue tracing the rest of it with another sh pattern sheet um, underneath. So you just have to line it up and, and it's not that difficult, but I was just kind of like, oh, this is crazy. Um, but uh, it worked out. So, and the layout is really easy. It's very self-explanatory. There's really nothing crazy different about it. Um, the pattern uh, modifications, I didn't really modify the pattern at all. Um, 
I just went ahead and made the size that I made in the YouTube pinafore and um, I figured that the waist would have some room so you know I didn't really need to worry about the waist. Um, I didn't think I needed a small bust adjustment which I normally do on patterns um, or should do because I saw how there were no darts first of all um, and the waist ties are kind of darted in like you're basically sewing a little um, piece of uh, fabric to kind of like cinched in to kind of hold the, the ties. So um, that, I mean, there was no way to like adjust that and there was no need really because it kind of cinches everything in and then the waist ties will cinch everything in. So I figured it would be fine and it was. Um, so I didn't need to do that. So I didn't really modify the pattern at all. I didn't make it longer or shorter. Or I didn't make the waist longer or anything. Um, it sat pretty well. I do have a long torso, but there's no definable like place where there's like two different pattern pieces or like there's like a crotch seam or something that I need to take into account. Like it was all just flowy and easy. So I didn't change anything. The waist uh, ties are probably like maybe an inch or two higher than my actual waist. Um, because of my long torso, but that didn't really matter. Um, the pattern uh, construction, I didn't change anything. The only thing that didn't th feel was super well explained was um, when you put the ties into like the waist dart, um, basically when you insert the ties into the waist, it um, just says to like sew a straight line. Um, but I did, I noticed in the picture that it was kind of like a rectangle, like they sewed a straight line and then they went over a little and then they went back up and then they went around. So I kind of, I don't know if that's what it was supposed to be, but it looked like that. So I kind of used that to encase the raw edge of my tie. Because when I sew just a straight line, it's like the raw edge, like if you reach down in there, let me show you. If you, let me untie it. So this little pocket where this is coming out, if you reach down in there, you would be able to turn it out and like see the raw edge, which <laughs> you can kind of almost see mine a little bit because I didn't sew it exactly on there, but um, you'd be able to see the raw edge like kind of trying to come out. And so if you encase it like this little rectangle, um, then you're pretty much protecting the raw edge and you don't need to worry about it peering out. So I'll probably need to fix that a little bit. I just noticed that when I showed you the video. Because <laughs> I checked the other one, I think, but I didn't check that one. Um, all right. So the other thing about the construction is that they tell you when you do the invisible zipper to, um, to have a little clasp here at the top. They tell you to put it about a centimeter from the top of the, um, of the garment. So when you're putting it in, the, the inner collar is not sewn down yet, it's still up. So you have like an inner collar up here and then you have the outer collar which is this one because you know when you sew an invisible zipper on, you're sewing it to the right side of the fabric. So you have the inner collar up here, just pretend it's up here, it's folded down but pretend it's like not folded down yet and you have the outer collar and then you have the rest of the garment. So I, when they said a centimeter from the top, I took it to mean that the zipper stopper, like where, like the plastic part where the zipper stops is going to need to be a centimeter from the top of the outer collar, not a centimeter from the top of the inner collar. Now it seems kind of obvious, but it's just not clearly stated in the pattern. So I just wanted to point that out in case anybody else was confused like me, because I had to think about that. I was like, no, it can't be a centimeter from the top of the inner collar, because then I'd be like, the zipper would be like folding up and over to the inside, which we all know doesn't make sense. So this is my zipper stopper right here. And the reason when they want you to put it down a little bit is because you have a little like hook and eye that you're gonna put at the very top. So anyway, that's the other thing. Um, let's see here. 
Uh, so the pattern fit I kind of already talked about, but it's very good, easy to fit. Um, the uh, waist, you know, you have a lot of room in your waist and you can tie the tie as tight as you want. You do need to fit the shoulders and things like that because it's not that loose up here. Um, I think if I would have made a smaller size, like the armhole would have been too small and stuff like that. So you still need to think about your shoulders and things like that. As far as your legs and your hips, I mean, it's not super big. Like it's not a very gathered skirt. Like it's kind of like a gourd skirt, um, which has just different like vertical pieces sewn together. It kind of feels like that. So it does have to fit somewhat in the hips, but it still wasn't that tight. Um, and I think my fabric's a little bit, has a little bit of stretch to it, like barely. Um, I don't think it's supposed to, but I felt like, you know, it because the pieces, the skirt pieces are not cut um, uh, on the grain exactly, like the edges are not completely on the grain, then that um, has like a, that seam that's a little bit of stretch, so. Um, and then, other than that, uh, styling your garment, I mean, hello, it's leopard. It speaks for itself, I think. Um, I think that, you know, you can just kind of change it up with whatever shoes you wear with it. And um, you can wear boots, high heels. You can even wear flats if you want to because the dress is not super long it's not like a maxi dress i actually love the length it's kind of like a vintage type length it's more of like a maybe a midi skirt or something like that um but anyways it, it's it's close to a maxi length but it's just not like touching the floor um so i really liked that part about it and other than that i mean just do whatever you want with it it's not it, i think depending on the fabric you choose like you could make it in linen that would make it a little more casual. Um, the fact that it has like this collar um, that, you know, it's not super tight, but that kind of goes around your neck, um, gives it a little bit of structure. It makes it look a little bit more fancy, but um, I still think you could wear it like, you know, in a beach setting or at dinner or somewhere in a, on a special romantic island or something and linen and it would be like flowing in the breeze or you know some viscose or chiffon oh man that would be pretty um there's some chiffon on mood fabrics if i can find the picture i'll put it up here but i was like dying over it and i wanted it really bad it's embroidered and then i was like it's a hundred dollars a yard <laughs> but that would be really good it would look really good in that so, um, yeah, y'all should do that and, uh, show it to me. So yeah, that'd be great. You should get on that. All right. So I think that's it. If you like my rambling on and my videos, um, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you can know when I have another video because you don't want to miss that. Um, and be sure to check out my blog. I will have a blog post about this. It's victorialucilleann.com. And then um, make sure you check out my Instagram, which is also vic at Victoria Lucille Ann. Um, it's a new name, and I have a little post explaining uh, why I changed it. So um, it's a pretty cool story. So go ahead and check it out. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's anything you want to see, like any different kinds of videos or any other videos I haven't done before. Um, and, uh, cause I would love that. I would like, love to see what you want to see. Um, I think I might do like a tour of my sewing space at some point, if y'all want to see that. Um, and just say hi, if you want to say hi down in the comments below. So, um, that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye. Y'all like how my shirt's like the same color as my skin? <laughs> it's white, you know, like blinding white. And my skin is blinding white as well. Anyways. <laughs>